happy Saturday, everyone. Okay. Cheryl Andrea here, and we have um, Goldie crashed out in the front, and Chance just behind her. And in the red carrier, it, even behind Chance, is where Sea Love is, otherwise known as Clove. He's our cat. And uh, then we have Rumi right down here. He's ringing that little bell, letting me know he's also a part of the gang. So anyway, we just left Denver about 60 minutes ago, just about an hour. And I am headed northeast on, I believe it's 76, Highway 76 right now. Headed for 80, and then I'm gonna take 80 east for a couple of days and explore places I have never been before. So I'm really excited. Can't wait to see. Maybe uh, it's really kind of beautiful out here. Flat, wide open, eastern, northeastern Colorado. I've never been here before. That's where we are at the moment. And uh, they're oblivious to it. Look at them. They're all crashed out. They're like, yeah, we had a long morning. Mom put us through a lot this morning. Uh, yeah, we got up real early, six o'clock this morning. Got everybody fed, watered, walked, uh, and then had breakfast with Hayden and Aaron, my son and his girlfriend. And then I packed up everything, or finished packing up everything. And we are now, like I said, now we're into the road. So. You guys, I had a really interesting week in Denver. This was sort of a decompression week because I have been go, 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 go for a solid four or five weeks. Actually, it's been months, but uh, the latest phase of it, you know, the decision to go on the road, the decision to stop doing the fair uh, virtually and to reevaluate everything. Um, I sliced 60% of my expenses overnight, which is pretty liberating in and of itself. But um, the decision that I made was about five weeks ago now. And I spent about three and a half weeks closing everything up and uh, buying the pop-up trailer and fitting my car out with everything it needed. New tires, oil change, rotation, brake, you know, making sure the brakes were good, the hitch. Um, it's, it's just been a really non stop three and a half, four weeks through the month of May. And then I sort of crash landed for the last several days in Denver because it, it just sort of let, it felt like everything just went bam, 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 all at once. Uh, in succession and so I spent yesterday and the day before in Denver just sort of um, sleeping and relaxing and not really with any agenda no particular plans I just gave myself the freedom to be able to relax a little to take a breath uh, to let these guys know that we're we're gonna have some sort of consistency um, <laughs> I'm not sure what that consistency is yet, <laughs> but I want them to know that they consistently have a bed in the car. That's what they have. They consistently have that, <laughs> and they will consistently have me around. Um, but other than that, what do we really need right now? A little food. We've got sunshine, great weather, uh, gas in the tank, and all of our belongings, well, all of the belongings that we have with us um, right behind me pulling it behind me so it's kind of it's kind of a strange idea you guys I, I was somewhere the other day and I had the thought that I needed to run back to camp to go get something and then I realized I didn't need to because I had it with me so it's sort of like the woman who has everything but the kitchen sink in her purse I don't have it in my purse. I have it in my car or my pop-up trailer, but it's everything but a bathroom. <laughs> I do have a kitchen sink, and I do have, in all fairness, I have a pop-up bathroom and a fantastic portable, uh, I don't know, uh, toilet, for lack of a better way, 
putting it. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a weird idea to have all of your belongings with you and be able to, oh, you need a pair of scissors? Well, it's right over there. Oh, you need tape? I've got some in this bin right here. Oh, I need a towel. Got one right there. I've got to change my shoes. Oh, they're right there. It's, it's so funny. To, it's, it's almost like a ask and ye shall receive moment where everything is so instantaneous. Um, I'm finding that because I'm living moment to moment, maybe this is a good way of putting it. As I'm living moment to moment and I'm not planning a whole lot and I'm present with the environment that I'm in and my needs are met in that moment, that even when I ask for something for the next moment, it's it's like it's just right there. It's so close. It's almost I I could even say it's instantly manifested in a way. And although I would say yes, that's true because it's in my car or it's in my trailer, so it's easy to instantly manifest. What I mean is, in the moment that you're having the experience, I'm out hiking. Oh, I need a new pair of socks. Well, they're right there in the parking lot in my car. You know, it's it's super easy. Everything is so accessible. I think that's what it is. You don't have a lot of. Um, although I am still juggling things back and forth between the car and the camper, trying to figure out what I actually need to store in the camper and what I actually need to store in the car. Um, I am finding it's, it, it's so easy to live with the minimal amounts of things. And really I'm finding I don't even need as much as I brought. And I'm a pretty basic girl. I don't require a lot. Like my fingernails are undone and Somebody else does my toes because I go in for pedicures, but I don't blow dry my hair except the top, so it's not wild and crazy. Um, you know, I don't, I, I don't have a lot. I don't wear makeup very often, and so there's not a lot of fussiness about who I am. So I don't need a lot of things. I don't. I'm not overly fussy about my clothing. Um, it's more about having everything where it needs to be. I think that's what I'm finding. Um, that when I want to as access something or I need something, I need it to be in a certain like consistent place. Like you would have your plates in the kitchen and your silverware in a drawer. There's, it's even beyond that. It's like tissue and you know, a pair of scissors. That was a good one. So I have scissors kind of tucked in several places because I need them in multiple places and it's easier than digging through or what if my trailer is shut? You know, I can't access them. So I have a pair of scissors in the car door. Um, just thoughtful little things like that that make the day go really easy and with less frustration. But it's interesting, the observations I'm having, there are so many of them. And then I crawl into bed at night and I'm wiped out and I realize I didn't do a video. So <laughs> forgive me, you guys, I'm really working at becoming a daily vlog. I'll get better at it. Um, but in the meantime, I wanted to catch up with you a little bit. I have a long drive ahead of me. I've talked for about eight minutes here, nine minutes, and I don't want to keep you too long. I just wanted to check in with you. I'll check in throughout the day and try to keep these videos short and sweet, at least under 10 minutes. So we're on the road for a little bit. I'll catch up with you guys in a little while.